Hi, this is Pam with Heart of Texas. I want to show you the uh, newest photo flip uh, album that I've made. It's made using authentic papers. I use their collection pack and uh, their uh, stickers and embellishments that go with it. Let me show you. It's the 12 by 12 designer sheet pattern paper and the stickers. When I made the, the um, kit, the first thing that I do is take the sticker sheets and take all the sticky off with baby powder. Just put in, I just put baby powder in a little pile and, and rub it off of everything. That way I can move things around the way I want to and place them without them being sticky because usually that glue doesn't stick anyway so I just make put my own on there. I use a We Are Memory Keepers stub punch and the We Are Memory Keepers cloud punch and the angle punch. The cloud punch is discontinued so if you don't have it it's just gone. I also use the darkroom door rubber stamps. They're um, awesome. Um, I use them. I use the stars and some of the coral in this and uh, I, don't know if I, I think one or two of the others. And I, the archival ink I used was Wendy Vecchi's, Becky's, and uh, I used the tree branch, the uh, dandelion, and the orange blossom for the um, seaweed or netting or whatever. This is the colors. And I used um, the dilution spray. I used melted chocolate and um, London blue and a little bit of um, the distress ink that's uh, chipped, chipped sapphire. Um, and I used the fresh lime and the cut grass. I also used um, Elizabeth Crafts tags, die cuts, um, this one and, whoa, so let's glue to it, and this one, and they were fun to use. I used the, um, also, a We Are Memory Keepers pocket, accordion pocket cutting die, if you can see that in there, and I think this was a can't remember whose anchor this was, but this pocket die thing, it comes in a mag with a magnetic holder, so it stays in there, and obviously you can put more than one in there, so I put what I'm going to use for my projects, the thinlets, but this is, um, you can see that, it's an anchor, and then the pocket, I'll show you how I use that, and uh, I haven't really finished the cover yet, but you can see this was the, the gray, and I put the craft text on the under this, and then I just wrapped it with um, the striped paper. It's just a really plain cover and some blue and white striped paper that was in there. And I also used, if you can see this, they had the words that says "Go to the sea," and I used that. I popped them up and inked them. I used their sunshine sand and salt water. I just cut a, a piece of, mm, let me see how big it was, I'm not sure. It was like five and a half by three and then the red was five and three fourths by three and a half. I cut that and the anchor I ink the anchor with, I ink paper with, um, let me see if I still have some, just stamp, inked all over it with the stamp pads I just showed you, and it turned out looking kind of different, and just by rubbing them on there, no water or anything added, and then I uh, cut my anchor out, and then put some um, of the frayed burlap around it. You can see that. 
and I inked around the edges of this with the frayed burlap and added a little bit of netting or it's actually gauze, it's not netting and then I used some of the small stars and I put glossy accents on those and uh, that's all that's done to the outside at this point and the inside is just plain and once we get ready to put the pages the two pages on then I'll we'll put something down the center and on each side of this too I always mark the front and back because and which way's up because I always get confused and when I'm trying to focus on this I <laughs> have been putting them upside down oh and I also embossed this with an old um, cuddle bug embossing folder that I had just because I didn't want it just to be quite so so shiny white you can see that and uh, I'll put this over here and then these are the two pages or two sides to this these are the two flips I've already put them together and if you have one or you don't know how to put it together there's tutorials on our YouTube that you can check to see I'll try to put a link in the down below that shows the different places of that of how to assemble it um, but this one is I think I'm gonna put them probably this way I don't know why these are some of the shells that I use on this and the, it had seashells and I think seaside I'm not sure um, but I stamped them with the different colors and just inked around the edges cut them out fussy cut them out I use some washi tape right here and here some little bees gold washi tape these are some of their stickers and I mounted them on some thin weight chipboard and cut them out these are just pop dotted up and this is um, I added a, a, a small strip of the red and a, just a pointed strip of the blue banner strip of the blue to add to it and then pop dotted these up and this is the other side each side in the paper is going to be identical so it's just going to kind of mirror each other on that and the sides on each one of these are going to be close to the same with the same paper but sometimes I'll use different uh, stickers and things because I don't have two of each one this was uh, a border punch that I punched and put on and it's no longer around I'll get it back but it's gone right now so I had to go on and this is just another banner cut that I put here um, some the uh, it's their washi type look that's cut this I mounted on thin chipboard and this I mounted on thin chipboard and again the gold uh, washi tape on that and that's all that I have well I did one more page and then I forgot that I was going to videotape it so I quit but this is the let's see this is the first page if you can see this let's see if I can get up and you can see it a little bit closer I just cut a mat that was four and a fourth by five and I used the stub punch on the four sides I took the one of their tags that said salt in the air and sanded my hair and just kind of popped it up so you could slip your your picture under there and put some um, enamel dots on this so each side is going to replicate the other side almost all the way so um, wanted to see you to see this I'll we'll flip through this before I do any embellishment and you can see what the pages I have everything cut out I think and then I'll go back through one more time and add any more embellishments that I want to and then just show you a final finished product but this is the the paper that it looks like that it's on there and this and this is dots I liked most of their paper I used a piece of each one so um, it worked out 
okay. These are some, these are some tiny little red stars on a white background. And this is the very last page, which is the long one. So it flips like this. So I'm going to do this vi video in some pieces so it won't be one that's so long and takes so long to upload. So let me get the first page out and I'll be back. Okay, this is the first flip up page and on the flip up pages I usually try to make everything pretty flat and without pockets or anything so that it doesn't fall out. You obviously can't get too embellishment crazy or it's not going to fold like it should but I don't I just use a lot of some pop dots in it <coughs> excuse me is about the most that I use to get it so I'm putting this just so that it'll be close to the other one this one has um, this I'm going to just see if we can get a little bit closer and I'm going to put um, some glue just right down this side and this side and then put some dots, enamel dots on it. I was one of those crazy people that melted a whole bunch of these a long time ago and uh, some of them are pretty cute circles and oops I think I want white. Up. Some of them didn't turn out such cute white circles but this is pony beads I think and uh, makes your kitchen stink for a while but every time um, they got a batch out I just took them out and put them on the patio and then they sat. So what I'm going to do is just put some liquid glue here so you can kind of work your um, it up a little so you can work your picture under that. Um, I would probably just use some a tape runner but I don't mine's going for a sample so I don't want it to to get bent on the way so I'm gonna pop it up just a little not much hold that till it's set so there's just a little slip that you can get under there and I put the enamel dots on with um, glossy accents oops. and oops. I have a I saw that Sandy and Sandy's Creations uses a towel to wipe up off her glue and so that's what I've been doing except I just took off with my dot there it is and I'll put a dot right here of glossy accents and right here and hope that's straight enough I don't know that I'd ever make this many enamel dots again in my life, but I became challenged to do that, and so I did. And there is page one. If you can see that. Page one flipped inside. All right, and page two is going to have just a tag and a pocket and 
the pull for my tags are going to be oops, I took the sticky off of them too these are some little tags that say seaside memories and so they'll just stick up here but I'll leave this part of this unglued just glue a little bit so that you can slip your picture under it and I just mounted this on a four and a fourth by three and a half piece of white cardstock and I glued her down yet so I like to get it all together with just the basic embellishments and then go back and add some more. I still have some more cards that I need to use up. So I'm going to glue these tags on right quick. Probably right along this bottom. Maybe right along this bottom part right here. If you can see that. And just stick it right in the center on this tag. <coughs> Excuse me. It's um, four by five and three fourths. And I used the angle punch <coughs> to. Um, make the corners. So there's that one and here's this one which will do the same way. Maybe and glue just about down to here. Once you get your picture in you can go ahead and add a little bit of oops that's upside down. So I'm take that off right quick. it on this. There we go. And stick it on the center of this. So if you can see that. And then I'm going to take this that I'm going to use for a pocket. going to glue two sides and up just about oh an inch or so on this side so this pocket will just slip in like that and just run some quick dry adhesive down this and this the reason I just use this instead of score tape is because there's no it won't stick to your tag so I ran it up the left side and across the bottom and up the top, this other side about an inch. And then I want to put this on right here, right at the edges. And stick it down. And I think I had some little there's one, I think, and the other one is hiding from me. I don't know, I can't find it, so once I find it, I'll stick it in there. So this is going to go right in here, and I may have it a little too. I want it to sit at an angle like so. And then I'm going to, this is the chipboard, it's the real, it's kind of like cereal box thin chipboard that I use in that.
to cut. This is what I just cut it out, glue it on here with uh, Scotch Quick Dry, glue them down, cut them out, and that gives it some depth without um, giving a lot of height or issues. So I just put glue on the back of this, and I want it to go right over here in this corner. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put glue on this side. I always have to, always have to make sure that I'm on the right side. I'm probably just going to go up a hair on that, so it won't. I won't have to loosen it and stick it on here. it down and then I'm going to stick this tag here and it's gonna look and see I had it just a few minutes ago I don't know what I, what I did with it it'll turn up in a few minutes I'll stick it it was a blue one and I'll stick it on that side so now we have I'm using a fine line applicator. If you've never seen these, all the labels are, oops, this one's not peeled off. You can see this fine line. Uh, it, this one is the glossy accents, and this one is just my um, Scotch quick dry adhesive that I use. I just fill in them. Sometimes I've had to put a drop, or, a drop or two of water, but lately it's been working out just fine. Okay, so this is the, whoops, that's not sticking so well right there, so let me pull this up and, and put that down fast enough. When they say quick dry, that's exactly what they mean. I usually, <clears throat> since this is going to be a sample, I usually just put a little bit of adhesive on the tags so that they they don't fall out of the album when people are looking at them. So now we're going on to the top um, of the next flip up page, and just do one at a time. This is a gray and white stripe. This one has um, the dye pockets that <coughs> I showed you with Elizabeth Craft crafts like this. And like this, I used um, made this card or tag using the punches, and then I made a larger tag with just a border. The border's not loose, but you could probably pry it up a little if you wanted to. I didn't do it, and then it'll have a um, the scalp put some jute across for the ties on the top of that. But it'll go kind of as a belly band right through here and then this will just sit on the center like so and I'm going to find something to hold these so they won't fall out probably a tab or something I just haven't decided what and then this will be just another little thing to finish off the top up there and I'm going to glue 
smooth this down. right on the top. I went around the edges of this album in, it was called Chipped Sapphire. You can see that. Just on these outside edges because I just wanted it to be blue and not a color. So I'm going to leave these about right here where I want them. And I may put some stickers up here because looks kind of plain to me. So I'm going to put um, on this, on each side of this belly band, some adhesive and then leave the rest of it open. And just put it about right here so that it will go. Whoop! <laughs> Don't want to do that. So that it will stick. I'm going to let that one dry and do the same thing to this one. You can see this right here. Put the glue on the back of this and just to the top. When you're doing these, you always want to make sure that your whatever you're doing is going to be right side up when they flip this up. So it won't be on the wrong side. And I'm going to put these just about the same. So it's about two and a fourth inches from the bottom. I don't know why I keep picking that up. Again, I'm putting glue on the belly band part. Fourth, so it's going to go right here and right here. Hold it till it dries, and then I have have a sunshiny day. There we go. We'll see how close I got on this. Uh, that looks pretty good. You can see this. I think it needs some stickers up there, but I'll work on that when I get through. I'm just going to put this kind of down the middle of this and stick it on. I didn't pop dot it up because I just don't want the added um, height and dimension to it. I want it to stay flat. So this will all close. And then I'm going to put this one on here. I have a hard time. I always have to look and see where the anchor is. If it's right side up, that's the most important thing. And this is right here. So there's, whoops, these two. It's going to get harder and harder to see because I'm going to get bigger and bigger. But there are these two. Um, I'm going to get some jute right quick and look through my stickers and find something to keep these tags a stopper for these tags and 